Hello and welcome to Sword and Key, our third episode of a delightful little space game called Fast Grim. Uh, a nice little actual play featuring the end of humanity and uh, people eating, infecting worms, uh, missing, missing young adults, uh, people growing algae on vomit. Uh, nothing that you wouldn't expect at the end of the world. Worlds, plural, by the way, doesn't matter where humanity flees, they're still doomed. Uh, my name is Anik, I DM this delightful game, and with me are my fantastic players. Uh, we'll quickly go around and let them introduce themselves, uh, say a short sentence about who they're playing today, and then a nice little recap, hopefully, and then let's right back into the game. I'm very excited. I'm just going to go in the order of my Zoom screen, because that's always nice a surprise for my players, uh, which means we're starting with Sophia. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Sophia, also known as Nerdy Teddy. You can find me on Twitter at Nerdy Teddy, and uh, I am playing AJ, our lost, one of our lost techno mechanics. Yes. Uh, speaking of lost technomancers, hey Dan. Hello, uh, I am Dan Pixel. Uh, you can find me anywhere on the internet as Dan Pixel. And I am playing Mason Hacks, who is the other lost technomaniac. Uh, hurting most of this group together uh, in and out of game, Derek. Hi, everybody. I am Derek Sword. I am the sword half of Sword and Key. So I am very happy to be in a game that I originally was not even in. But hey, scheduling and all that. Um, I want to take my time real quick because we don't. I don't say this enough, and I want to promote as much as possible are wonderful we have a pally.gg for this game much like we do for horizons call and several of our other games so typically um channels might ask you to donate through the tips through twitch i should stop using the word donate it's not a donation tip through twitch twitch takes way too much of a cut and doesn't really give as much back pally if you give tips through there uh takes almost everything that you give evenly distributes it based on shares to these amazing people and shows them how much you appreciate their characters, the stories that they tell, and just them in general. So please consider tipping through Pally. And if you do, I believe there are incentives and you can impact our game by doing so. That's my time. Thank you. I was just going to say in chat, some of these players could, could use some tips to buy better dice after uh, some of the, the roles we saw last week. Uh, again, not calling out any names, but you know. Please fund our debts. <laughs> You can tip to help the party. I find it in a lot of horror games. A lot of tips go to um, preventing my gruesome murdering of uh, player characters. So if that's something you would like to uh, facilitate, you know, you can tip either way. I'm just saying it doesn't always have to be to help the players. Uh, last and certainly not least, Kit. Hi, I'm Kit. Uh, you can find me places on the internet at Kit Roll Cause, same way it is somewhere around me. Maybe, maybe in chat. I don't know. Um, today I will be your Avon, everyone's favorite uh, resident little guy, uh, just here for a good time and to make some friends. Don't worry about it. Nothing weird ever happened to her. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, speaking of weird things never happening to Avon, uh, Kit's doing our recap today. And nothing weird happened to Ava last week. No, either, right? not even a little bit. Don't, don't. No. I don't know what would put that idea in your in your head, Anik. Um, everything's fine and normal and regular for all of us. Um, oh man. Well, when last we left off, um, we were hopping around some asteroids. Uh, it was great. It was fun. It was good. Uh, we ended up on Centauri Primus, uh, trying to find a mayor, the mayor of the asteroid. Um, who sent out a distress signal and then was very shocked that we actually showed up, it seemed like. Um, there's two lads who went missing, two like uh, like teens or uh, adult-ish folks uh, who sort of went missing. Uh, maybe they just sort of ran away to do fun, fun teen stuff. Maybe not. We don't know. That's our job to find out. Um, we were unfortunately told that if they have worms, do not bring them home. Um, so, you know, rats. Um, then we, let's see, we ran about the asteroids for a little bit, followed a, a suspicious looking ship off to a different asteroid, um, where there was a guy who was very not happy to see us, um, but was very happy, uh, to steal, uh, all of Mason's yak, uh, to grow algae from, 
Uh, it was super fun and normal and a regular time that we all had. Um, but he was on the run from the, uh, the quote, shit king Saul. Um, so, uh, that was, it was fun. And we're totally not, we're totally not, uh, on, on Saul's time. So it's chill. It's fine. It's good. He's going to grow his algae. It's going to be awesome. Um, and then I believe we went to a shipping yard and, uh, there's a lot of guys, a lot of lads that we talked to. It was great. It was fun. I found a knife. Just a totally regular knife with like a very like, you know, intricately carved worm on the hilt, but like a regular knife, just like the regular kind of knife that you would have. Um, and everybody was totally chill and cool about it. And nobody is suspicious of Avon at all. Um, yeah. And then we did a little bit of uh, a roaming around. Uh, Mason went back to the ship to take a shower because she's kind of had a day, to be honest. A uh, bit of a bit of a bad uh spider venom trip if i recall correctly just kind of had a weird one um and yeah and then we did a little bit of sleuthing and it seems like the goal for today is to head over to seda gamma another one of these delightful little asteroids to uh investigate a penal colony should be fun should be normal in a regular time did i miss anything important <laughs> Uh, well, not for as far as Avon is concerned, because I don't think Avon was around when uh, AJ uh, gave the little heads up to Mason as Mason left to go shower. Um, about the fact that AJ kind of sort of clocked that Avon may have been considering putting a worm inside Mason's head uh, while on a spider venom trip. Listen, if it works, it works. I, she was having a bad time. Yes. Worms make it better. Um, debatable. They make you alive. Sometimes. Also debatable. So, well, I everybody has their own definition of alive, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, I didn't do it. Okay, you didn't. No, for, you didn't for those of you at home, I did not. You didn't. Uh, well, no, you didn't do it this time. Not yet. No. 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 Uh, also, AJ was uh, um, AJ. Uh, had some very good uh, presence rolls last time, and uh, also picked up on Avon's weird fucking obsession with a certain bone knife. And uh, st starting to put a few things together. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Just a cool knife. I don't know why you wouldn't be excited about it. <laughs> it's just a regular knife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so we come back to our group. Uh, Nox, AJ, and Avon were on the asteroid still uh having gone to a tunnel that the knife was located in uh, to look at shipping manifests and other exciting things uh while mason went to clean up because the spider trip was also um things a little messy uh you basically you kind of have to peel the suit off of you for many gross reasons some of them uh urine related uh and the rest is puke uh so We've left, we're relieving Mason aboard, I will not yield in the first five minutes, the Wanda, uh, when uh, we have a little look at AJ, Knox, and Avon. Is there anything else you want to do or look for in this delightful little tunnel? Oh, why would you ask? What is there to see in the tunnel? before we yeah. we look around is this is this an otherwise empty tunnel is there a blinking fluorescent light is there you mentioned that there's like um i believe a doorway to like a manager's office or something like that yeah That's there's, a, there's, a, there's a door to like the administrative office uh the part you've been focusing on so far were all the uh, uh super old school taped up paper manifests mm -hmm. um that like we mentioned last week you, you get the feeling that maybe the power supply isn't entirely stable here and they will prioritize uh oxygen and gravity over hollow screens computers that do shipping shit so they always have paper backups liberals yeah um uh is, is the is, is the administrator's office does it look occupied or like yes, are there windows no okay uh, um, Avon already tried looking through windows um, creepily and then backtracked. Um, to be fair, Avon does most things creepily, so yeah, that is that is true. It's it's hard to judge. 
I, I'm I'm having a tough time see. Well, we know we need to go to the the penal colony. It's it's one person to ask. So uh, if the is it the kind of door you knock on the administrator's office, or is it like a, a door you there's, walk in? And there's, there's a cute little like panel that has more tape on it than actual circuitry. So you assume that knocking is probably the safer option. Okay, I punch the panel until it opens, considering that knocking. Uh, there's a few sparks, a little a little voice that goes, please take care of her. Uh, but the door, it goes sort of halfway open and then does that annoying back and forth thing of a stuck door. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, Knox is gonna I guess, squeeze his way inside and see if there's uh, an administrator to speak to. Uh, there is a person behind a desk who looks very busy, looking busy. You're not sure they're actually doing anything, but they're they're doing the the paper shuffle that you do when you're getting caught not working at work. Right. Um. I think at that then Knox is just gonna like pull one of the papers out of their hand and just kind of like hold it up like a ransom, I guess. Um, you pulled... Oh, you pulled her crossword. The uh, 24 down, it's... Um... Actually, I have no idea. I don't do these. I'm not a nerd. And he'll ball it up and throw it back in their face. I am what? wondering if you could perhaps... Uh, Help me by uh, answering a few questions if you had a moment or two. Which you oh, clearly I'll be do. asking you what 24 down is, Ian. What do you I, want, I... Jock? Cute. Um, I am on a particular mission right now looking for a set of youths who have absconded to only the verse knows where. And I was wondering if you perhaps had any information on where they might be. Uh, and or any information on the local penal colony that might be informative. I don't know where you put your kids. I don't want to know where you put your kids. Uh, penal colony, I mean... I haven't been there. That's your uh, suggestion or your accusation or whatever. It's your... not. You're an administrator. I don't know what you administrate. And I'm uh, just inferring. Honestly, again, try to stay away from it. Like we threaten kids with the penal colony, and usually they're empty threats, but we have seen a lot more ships going there lately. If you ask me, like someone's like selling people, or I don't know what the thing is. Uh, Saskia from Two Asteroids Over said that she tried selling her husband, but they wouldn't take him. And I'm not sure if that's a joke because I know her husband and I wouldn't take him either. Oh, all right. Um, what what is it that you actually administer? What what is it that you do? I track shipping manifests. So how many vats of algae for how many vats of water? Uh, whether or not someone picked up passengers. Spoiler alert: nobody ever picks up passengers. Uh, if anyone they pick up convicts. Well, convicts, you, you have to go to Primus for your trial. And then after that, you go, well, if you're found guilty, obviously, then you go to the penal colony. But we do ship algae and water to the penal colony because you're, like, working for a punishment. We're not killing you actively. Sure. So what is being shipped? Are, are the shipments matching up is what I'm asking? Or do you just not care? If they have the correct signatures, I assume they've been checked, and so far all the signatures have been perfectly all right. We're not doing weight limits or anything like that. This is there's oh, no, like... I leave the weight limits to captains because if their ships are out of alignment, then that's a them problem. We could mainly go by number, not weight. So you both have the suspicion that people are being sold, but then also are perfectly fine with the thin line of red tape keeping you from actually doing anything about it. Like I say, I think people might be being sold. I'm assuming people already heading for the penal colonies because otherwise they would have taken Saskia's husband, right? 
I mean, it, it depends on how terrible he is. Doesn't sound like they'd want him. Yeah, but free labor though. I don't. I don't even know how much labor they do there. You have been incredibly moderately helpful. Well, that is more than I was aiming for. And she Sorry. gets up and picks up her crossword off the floor where you threw it. Sounds like public service. Sounds like a space hopper. Uh, he'll try to squeeze his way back through the, like, opening and closing door. Um, I don't know if any of you had questions for that very unhelpful individual, but basically all they said was they had a suspicion that kids were being sold to as workforce but um, it was only suspicion and they had nothing else that seemed helpful to me do we know who's buying them just the colony in general or anyone in particular uh, probably whoever runs it the, theirs was more of a conspiracy theory guess, so I'm not sure they even had names, but I didn't ask. Mm. It sounds like it's our be friends. I well, perhaps for a price. Uh, regardless, it does sound like it's our next step, so perhaps we should go see if Mason has uh, cleaned off their marinade. Uh, speaking of, Mason, you are alone on the Wanda. Anything in particular you're getting up to other than cleaning yourself? There is a there is a priority number one, and it is it is rinsing. Mm -hmm. That's 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 first and foremost. Uh, uh, if you have to you, you know, if you want a proper shower shower, you'll have to like override the computer to go over your water allotment for the day. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, make me a presence test. Uh, 21. Very nice. Uh, you can uh choose to either. You, there's different ways you can hack into this computer, right? You can either just mm -hmm. say, here's a general override, shut up, give me all the water. Or you can just say, no, no, there's several people showering one after the other. So first give me my shower and then you can like take the water allotment that is listed, that is uh, uh, already sectioned out for one of your shipmates. <laughs> um... No, I think General Override is more in Mason's, like, wheelhouse. At least General today. General Override is. Okay, you can have a luxurious shower. Wonderful. Uh, and then... Can you roll me a d4, please? Oh, dear. That didn't go in the box. Nah. Three? Wonderful. Uh, you use up three quarters of a container of water. Lovely. Uh, once I am once I am debiled, um, you haven't smelt this good in literal months. Phenomenal. Uh, probably not gonna ever achieve this again. So we're gonna take a moment to just like bask Enjoy. in that glory. Um, yep. and, As you're and... basking, though, a certain smell does hit your nose, and that is your clothing. Oh, dear. I'm going to just assume that I probably don't have much in the way of spare clothing, do I? No, no, you made your character, but I don't think your character have a lot of clothes. Uh, let's see. Uh, even if you have spare clothes, you only have one, um, like, vac suit. Yeah, vac suit's vac suit. Um, vac suit's gonna vac suit. Yeah, you probably have suit's... some clothes. Yeah. 
one set of clothes. You have to wear something while you're doing the laundry. True. Uh, probably. Uh, so we'll. I hope. We'll... I would. I would hope so, considering who your crewmates are. That is also very true. I mean, I am a little, weird little bone girly, but uh, okay. So yes, we'll we'll change clothes, and I'll take a look at the vac suit. I don't know that that's gonna be that able to clean, is it? That's like. That's like I a mean, whole nother you... operation. Yeah, I mean, you 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 got a general override. If you want to wait, if you want to, I was going to say, if you want to waste more water, if you want to use more water for a good cause, for its true purpose, <laughs> this is in no means the DM trying to make your ship run out of water or anything. Sure, sure, no, definitely not. Um, I never. No, I, I'm I'm gonna hold off on that one and just kind of hope that it like airs out a little more. Um, I have... Instead of wasting waters, we're wasting the environmental filters. Yes, precisely. Just Beautiful. like you know, let it, I will do whatever I can to like turn it inside out. <laughs> yep. And just and just like let it air out a little bit, maybe. Okay. Delicious. Uh, having. Uh, uh done some some cleaning any other little um, things you while you have the wand to yourself i how are our how are our like quarters div like divided up so having become the de facto captain Nox sort of claimed a a large-ish bunk near the helm, mm -hmm. um, recognizable by uh, a sort of like a, a basically a sticker resembling the hula girl that he put on the dash. Um, and then AJ Avon and you have the three of you have your own bunks i don't know if you've ever been on like a particularly small sailing vessel it is a yeah. bed that you can sort of turn around in if you don't stick out any elbows yeah. too far and some drawers um i i would like to do like a little once over of avon's things that that knife is like really freaking me out. Go oh, going for a little Snoopy Snoop. Yeah. The knife's yeah. not on the ship. No, the knife's not on the ship. But no, but uh, uh, get what does Avon have in her two little drawers? That's a good question. I feel like most of what she has, she keeps on her person, just because I don't think she has a lot of like objects. If that makes sense. There's probably some spare uh, sharp bones that are like bones that have been collected and have not been sharpened into anything usable yet. So just like a drawer of like six loose bones, right? Um, probably like, I don't know, a change of clothes, maybe. Um, I, I don't think she was, I don't think she joined the ship in a position to have uh, like a carry on <laughs> or anything. No. No. Um, hmm. Probably. Uh, Probably like a bunch of like like loose sheets of paper or like bits sort of torn out of the like the instructions on some sort of medical thing in the first aid kit that like the box has been thrown out. So I've stolen that for the paper and just like doodles uh, and, you know, little like notes in the margins that don't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, there's like. Like, you know, there's, like, the little, like, uh, you draw on the margins in, like, middle school or whatever, and it's, like, hearts and little arrows and, like, little, like, doodles and stuff. And one of them is, like, a worm with teeth, and it's very cute, and there's, like, a little heart by it. And, like, just, like, probably notes and, like, I don't know, some sort of, like, weird half, half this language, half some other language. Just, like, little doodles, but it's, like, on the, like, the pull-out instructions for, like, an inhaler or something. <laughs> Just a bunch of loose garbage. Okay. 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 <laughs> try, I'll try. I'll try not to freak Just out too much stuff. about the little, the little heart by the warm drawing. I'll try not to like 
overthink that one, but I will. Well, there's also to... like a spider with a heart, and there's like. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not just, just worms. No, nah, no, nah, it's just just all the little little creepy insects. Okay, that's. All the little weird critters, yeah. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just okay. little dudes, as Avon would say. Just little eyes. Little eyes. Little eyes. With hearts. Friends. That that's like now pinging around inside her, <laughs> just like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put if everything you back. Roll me uh, one more presence test, Mason. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, I'd say that that is enough. That while you're like holding, uh, what they just described as trash, but what is in fact super creepy doodles, uh, you would hear the airlock starting to hiss, uh, signaling the return of your party members. I put everything back, and yeah. I go to see how my air drying suit is doing. If anything, it smells worse now. <sighs> gonna kind of like too. gingerly like stuff it back inside so it is the right way around uh, you, you know how when uh puke dries you can get those little flakes if you break it off yeah yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're not Love you're this. no longer uh the cleanest you've been in months i'm sorry it's fine it wasn't gonna last Uh, AJ, Knox, and Avon, you arrive back at the Wanda. Does the whole ship smell now? It's hard to miss once the airlock hisses, yeah, because, like, the environmental filters have been trying to scrub this. And even though they've gotten the pathogens, it doesn't really care about the scent. It's not just puke, though. There's an underlying sort of musky odor of several days old urine. You're not sure how it got to several days old in an hour, but here we are. We get it. It's a fraternity house. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I, I feel like, not to overly compare this to a Winnebago again, the Wanda does have, like, a scent. It's, you know, if you get any type of long-term travel, I don't care if you're on a train, if you're not getting, like, fresh air, not that like stale filter, but like fresh air in it's now too, too many people, too small a space. It's not great. Yeah. yeah uh, there's, you don't quite, too you don't quite, quite get the, like no one has spilled a half a crate of beer, right? We don't have, we have moldering old beer, uh, but everything beside that, that old fraternity house smell is definitely there. Oh, but that's the best part of the frat house smell. Yeah, Knox absolutely has like a, a not even an e-cigarette. It's like an ex-cigarette. We're we're that far down in the, and it's gotten to the part to the part where like, oh, people like the smell of smoke, so we're going to simulate the smell of smoke once again. We've we've gone past like, oh, it's just vape. No, 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 no. We we want that. We want to have the smoking sections back in the deck. Uh, right now, the entire Wanda Vega is one big sh smoking section. Just anything that will cover this up. He puts like the air conditioner on like as he's so it just blows backwards. Yep. Yeah. It is this it smells like a waffle house. There we go. We we found it. It smells like a waffle I, house circa like 1998. I've never been in a waffle house because I'm not an American. One day we're going to get you to a waffle house. Oh my god. <laughs> One day we will punish you. <laughs> if I'm hearing if right a passage, damn it. If the Waffle House is being used in this scene's description, I don't want to go there. Do you ever want you to fist fight an IHOP? Because that's... <laughs> that's the vibes. I've also never been to an IHOP. Oh, sweetie. Okay. I don't live where you live, Kit. <laughs> but so it's what international. What it's an international. International. Yeah, it says so in the name. Is that it's international the is a lie. <laughs> the international oh, no. Is we've a been lie. lied to by Big Pancake. Uh, also, my country takes pancakes 
very seriously and we would fight the entire IHOP chain for the definition of a pancake and anything that may or may not deserve the name pancake. So that's true. IHOP can go fuck itself. Anyway. I was gonna say, how dare we talk to Anik? Scalding takes from Anik today. <laughs> I don't care what IHOP serves. I've seen pictures. It doesn't deserve the name pancake and you can burn it all to the serve ground. burgers now. Yeah. Anyway, it's just uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we have uh, our crew reunited yet again in the Wanda Vago, and I would love to know what your plans are. Well, Nox has started smoking, so Avon is lighting things on fire. Just like small, like scrap of paper. Mm -hmm. I'm helping. I mean, other than that, I can't drive, so I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> uh, Mason, it's good to have you back. You smell... End of sentence. Um, <laughs> we are heading to the penal colony. Everybody in on that. Yes. Fantastic. All right. No, no objections. Unanimous. Uh, great. Well, in that case, um, same rules as always, plus a couple of few. Uh, don't start working. They will keep you there. Uh, apparently, there is suspicion that they are, in fact, stealing, kidnapping, selling human beings, trafficking. Not great. Um, so don't get trafficked. All right, that's the model of the day. And that is just going to go to the captain's chair and, and get taken off. Beautiful. Um, as you get in the captain's chair, you flip all your switches and you fiddle with all your dials. Uh, you hear a little, um, a little wiggle. Please be advised. Water levels are significantly low. Coolant might become an issue. In which direction is the penal colony? Uh, if you look at your glorious little uh, mappy map that we have in roll. It is beautiful. I would say thank you, but I didn't make it. I only bought it. Um, that you penal colony. Did. The penal colony is a uh, Seda Gamma, uh, okay. which is an uh, asteroid two. Which you, you can skip through the middle if you want, but that's also an hour. And we're currently on Delta. We're on Delta. So we'll have okay, to so go through three. one anyway. So you can either go through the middle or hop through Primus. Now, what is the middle there? There's a there's a there's a black sort of gap where there would be a asteroid on uh, the other ones and i want to just know if that's a hole if you will a black it's giving, hole it's giving black <laughs> hole uh well, it's a gravitational giving. center that all these asteroids are constantly circling around because of a strong center of gravity information about the center of the asteroid belt has not been provided yeah of course not mm -hmm. fun we could go exploring <laughs> maybe they're friends hmm friends and kind of like narrows her eyes at that. <laughs> Friends for who, Avon? For all of us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. I, Lights I'm just another scrap of paper on fire. Just... <laughs> there is a concept in space travel literally called spaghettification, and it's what happens when a person goes through a black hole and they literally get stretched like a spaghetti. I would rather that not happen to me. But throwing it out there. Um, wow, totally just derailed the entire thing there. Um, penal oh, we need to stop for water. I wasn't Centauri Primus where the water supply was, like our extra water that they were going to pay us with. That's where the guy who promised us water was. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Water was it the you know upon completion of contract you already got some of the water they didn't know you're gonna burn through your water in four hours. Well, you, got you know, none of us. Up front. You can buy more. Us. They should have used their imagination. I... You can also Do we buy have water enough? here if you want. Does it look like we might have enough for at least a one-way trip to the penal colony? Yes, you can absolutely reach the penal colony. Okay, it's getting anywhere else afterwards. And can we unreach the penal mm -hmm. colony? Is the question. 
Uh, you can probably lift off from the penal colony, but it's when you start hopping hexagons that things get a little interesting. Mm. Um, yes, Eva. Interesting. <laughs> we we don't have to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, I, I would like to at least spend the hour to get to Centauri Primus and refill water. If everyone else Beautiful. is okay with that. Yeah, that that's fine. Yep. Okay. That's that's mm -hmm. that's 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 valid. Yeah. Well, we've got to hop, skip our way there anyhow. So let's take a little bit of time, refill our our aqua. Um, how much does it cost to refill the tank? Because uh, I'm assuming we're only getting paid the other half after success. So. Yes, the, considering uh, uh, how mercenaries are uh, generally treated here, it's a miracle you got half up front. Um, do you have credits or are we bartering? Do I, I do have... <laughs> do they take bones? No. Okay. I do have credits. How many? Let's start with how many credits they're looking for and go for. Call me a presence test. Okay. We'll, we'll make that a, like your general bargaining. Uh, that is a 16. 16. It's fairly decent. Mm, and and we're, you want enough water just to hop around or are you just going filler up? I, I want enough water to... Yeah, let's, let's see what filler up looks like. And then if we need to put 20 bucks in the tank, you know. That... Yeah. Let me, that way let, me, let, me, let me get some D4s here. Put 20 credits oh. in the tank. Uh, let's say 10 credits. Because honestly, your ship doesn't hold that much water. Which like, is I why you have to make... Right. Uh, I can make 10 credits work. Let's let's go with, with 10 credits. We'll do a refill on that. And then, uh, yeah, all right. So they completely fill, uh, a complete fill up is and all of your carrying vats full uh, and like flushing the system. And they'll throw in, <laughs> after like loading the vats, they'll throw in some of those uh, weirdly plastic tree shaped pine scented dashboard air refreshers. You're muted, but you can just I was, plug I was them in. Yeah, you can plug I, them I, in. I, the thing that plugs into the air vent, they have those as well. Yeah, they go really well with artificial tobacco scent. That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, if I, I were to the zipper the of at this suit. point, I would be puking f just from the scent concoctions that you've made all together. Yeah, if they do have an adhesive back, we are sticking at least a few of them to Mason. Incredibly yeah, hard. just like to the inside of the helmet. One is on the zipper pole, right? Yeah, but yeah. Mason's back suit gets pine scented. Yes, if, if anyone has ever been a mascot or or ever worked at like uh, an amusement mm -hmm. park as, you know, a character or anything, mm -hmm. yeah, you need those. It's necessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I fully believe you, and it seems incredibly fitting in a horror game somehow. Uh-huh. All right, everybody. Um, I hate you all. Stop using all of the water. Let's go. And it's another little hop and a skip to Seda Gamma. Um, it's a it's a, it, provided you manage the landing. Um, there is a low gravity on the asteroid. Um, they have, once again, uh, on the surface, a large building encased in a shield. Within the shield will be breathable air. Outside of the shield is, of course, the vastness of space. Uh, breathing problematic. And if you radio ahead, you can... Um, like, depending on, depending on how you radio ahead, there might be some issues with getting a parking spot. I get feeling they don't necessarily want you here. Too bad. Um, all right, well, Mason's back and not, you know, uh, affected by spider venom. So uh, I'll hand the radio to Mason. Why don't you uh, call us in and make sure we get somewhere nice and ask him about, you know, general rules and all that, whether we're allowed to bring weapons and yeah, oh, make sure we don't become part of the penal colony permanently. It was good alliteration. 
Jason, you have to call him. Um. Hello? Please be advised, no visitors are allowed on Seda Gamma. Reverse course. Can, can, mm, oh, uh, can you explain why? Seda Gamma houses a penal colony. There are no visitor hours. I like cover whatever whatever the the actual way to like not transmit sound whether it's like releasing button or whatever yeah you, you, you put them on mute uh do we have a plan to get in we're on official business they said no visitors we're not visitors ah we're right. professionals true true yes uh i click it back on uh we have official business we came from the instruction of the mayor on centauri primus what is your business here i look back confidential that's a good start mm -hmm. uh confidential per the express direction of aforementioned mayor we too are in the confidence of the mayor please state your business if they're in the confidence of the mayor they can ask him themselves if they can't then they are not clear to know it's classified just tell him we signed an nda if the mayor wants them to know the mayor will tell them themselves that's what friends are for uh, per instructions, you can inquire with the mayor yourselves. But otherwise, uh, we are not at liberty to divulge that information. Please hold while we contact the mayor. And you get this gruesome, hacked, canned waiting music. Yvonne is doing her little dance. <laughs> I'm looking for this. It takes a few minutes uh, before the radio clicks back on. Business confirmed by the mayor. Please park in Sector 6 Alpha. Thank you kindly. Nicely done, Mason. Honestly, it was a, it was a joint effort. And I guess they will park in... Uh, six alpha. Your uh, stunning, somewhat falling apart vessel touches down uh, inside the shield. So if you wanted to go without a helm, you could. Just putting it out there. Uh, but otherwise, in general, a vac suit is recommended for most of you. I mean, you can. You, you have probably have. To, so here's the thing, you can all wear your vac suits and then we're going to start rolling like toughness tests against vomiting. But if you'll put your helmets on, you won't smell Mason. Apart from Mason, who's going to smell puke and pine soul. Tacoma, yeah. Sorry, that was just for the Seattle folks. Um, Right. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you were referencing Tacoma the game. No, to, I'll cry, I'll do uh, it. Tacoma stinks. Um, literally, it literally stinks. Uh, I will say the more alienated you make your DM feel, the harsher the penalties will be for your characters. Noted. Um, it smells like Berlin? I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Anique laughed. Maybe that's true. You're not wrong. Paris is okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, is there uh, like a parking sign? Like, hey, you parked in section J. Make sure that you know you don't leave anything valuable out, and also don't take any weapons because this is a penal colony. Duh. Or is, is it just like we can 
go in. Why did you want the official business? You are allowed to carry your weapons. You will be searched for contraband. So you're not allowed to carry anything that would be used for like long range communicate. Like don't smuggle in drugs or cell phones and you'll be good. Does spider venom count as drugs or yes, as absolutely. a weapon? Drugs. What if it's already on my bones? Feel drugs, you can lick them. You're right, I could. <laughs> okay, fine. Spider sack stays on the ship. Beautiful. Your cooperation is appreciated. Please be advised that vacating your vessel does not mean that it will not be supervised. You get little docking clamps on your ship. A crew count will be required before leaving the penal colony. You're also not allowed to take inmates away, basically. It didn't need to be said, it's it's said now. All right. You'd be surprised um, what needs to be said us. around humans. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a difficult count. There's not very many of us. Uh, okay. Uh, I I am at least wearing my vac suit and taking all of my stuff. If they're going to take it off me, that's fine. But we're going in armed to the teeth. Beautiful. Some of us armed with teeth, I would imagine. Teeth or bones? Mm -hmm. No, they're not. Teeth that are is, luxury bones. We had that, we, no, we had the discussion last week. Teeth are not bones, and there are several reasons for that, but I'm not giving a biology lecture tonight. Yes, but, but teeth sometimes, are bones. sometimes no. you have a jawbone and it comes with teeth, so yes, it's just they, can, uh, yeah. they, can be, they can be added on to, but they are not part of. They're not bones. Bone and bone accessories. I stand Bone accessories. Hmm. All right, we're armed two to teeth. With the teeth. I absolutely At least I love am. how teeth is on our red line list for me, and yet here I am. Um, <laughs> we're not hurting the teeth. Everything's fine. Teeth are for decoration well, only. There's no cool amount of living people, and we'll be golden. Uh, I know what Nox is wearing, right? Because Derek's described Nox as... I was almost going to obnoxious loadout before. Uh Avon is still going full dress, bone girly, weirdo. Uh, Mason is smelling interesting. Uh, uh, Sophia, is AJ... Are, are you going combat ready? Are we going, hey, I'm, I'm just an innocent technomaniac. What's what's AJ's loadout? Uh, AJ is taking their knife and their vac suit. And they, they don't have a whole lot of anything else, so... Love it. For several reasons. I mean, if we're all vaccinated, I guess I'll vaccinate, you know. Yeah. Don't want to be left out. <laughs> Fair. You want nothing more than to blend in. I want friends. So badly, you Unique. I, I know. I know you want friends so badly. Um, <laughs> you can simply uh, uh, leave the Wanda Bago uh, that is parked securely. Uh, Parking is outside of the structure, obviously, so you're allied in what is... I, I, as a European, I would compare it to an Ikea parking lot in the sense that it's enormous and there's a giant fucking building right there, but there's only one, and there's only one place to go. Just insert uh, the cap going, the, the Captain America. I understood that reference meme. We have, those. <laughs> we have those. And those are truly international. Suck it, I hope. The I in Ikea stands for international. That is a blatant lie, but I'll let it go. <laughs> is there um, a marching order? Are we just gathering around the front wheels of the Wanda Bago, looking scared and not moving? What What are we doing? Quick question: We can lock the Wanda Bago, right? Like, I don't think that's going to matter. Too exactly. Much. Yeah. Boop boop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right. fine. Fantastic. Just a little. Little, little, the little, little like, things go up on the windows to yeah. so you know it's locked. <laughs> I Let me put it this way. Yes, you can lock the Wandabago. Also, both AJ and Mason know enough about technology and hacking shit to know that someone with 
a pen knife, some gum, uh, a, a 2014 iMac, and the will to live can hack the Wonder Bagel. Sure, but they'd have to like want to do it. It's no longer. They and I'm all out of gum. <laughs> I'm all out of the will to live. What's your point? Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Uh, you have it, to hide it there, Mason. It certainly looks locked. Lovely. There's a little welcoming committee outside of the big building. Towards them, then. Uh, you see... So you see five people in regular vac suit, but uh, vac suit plus, so they're a little more armored than yours because, you know, you're guarding a penal colony. You see four people in regular vac suit plus little little arm guards to mark them as guards. Um, and then sort of two steps behind them is this person in dark, dark armor darkened faceplate and a gun Nox you could only dream of having. It's the kind of gun you take to bed with you. It's tactical. It has a scope that you know. You know that scope wouldn't lie to you. The scope goes farther than even one of the rounds would go. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's beautiful and it's in practicality. Yeah. Basically, you have four regular guards and someone you could only in your mind consider elite. I I wouldn't recognize like the from the layout of this person. Are they recognizable in because they seem like a mercenary? Are they recognizable in the mercenary community? They are you don't even have to roll. They are absolutely not mercenaries. This, Fair enough. this suit, this loadout, this the the way their face plates are covered. Uh, you have not encountered these before, and actually, no roll presence. Let's let's see how many pieces hmm. you put together. A uh, twelve. Well, you get the distinct impression, like craftsman to craftsman, that. People who know too much about these people end up dead. Fantastic. Um, I have a, I'm wondering if this is anyone that Avon's family would have known about, but I, I, I don't know. No. Okay. These are uh, uh, a peek behind the curtain as the book describes them. Uh, a well-kept secret, and not in a sarcastic way. Mm -hmm. But there are four more regular people in front of them. They're just a silent, super intimidating backup. Sure. Uh, sorry to uh, surprise any of you uh, with this visit. We were all an official. Are on official business from the mayor of Centauri Primus, and we're hoping to just take a look around, as odd as that may sound for a penal colony, but um, hi. Welcome. We confirmed your business with the mayor. Not sure what you think you might be looking for here, but just Thanks. asteroid hopping at this point. It, yes. Peeking out no. from behind Knox, as always. Beautiful. Uh, the, they will stand aside, like, uh, to a side, and free to go and look inside the building. We will keep our hands to ourselves. It, more looking at, like, his crewmates than... <laughs> we will keep our hands to ourselves. All right. Please. And not just your hands. Avon pouts. Your limbs in general. I've seen people kick things. Just behave. That We're is... doing 48-hour shifts. 
Just behave. It is our middle name. Like, from one of the other people in regular search, you hear this... To be fair, they did not specify good or bad behavior. It was just behave. We will behave how we... How we will we'll behave. In, in, there will, no, uh, there will be behavior. Ah, what was that? A loophole? We will be behaving in ways. Absolutely true. Uh, no, they sort of gesture you inside. All right, I guess we're going. I, Nox absolutely will stop at the, the heavily armored uh, individual with a very nice gun. Just kind of look down. At, That's really nice. There's like a slight tightening on the gun and just a little. I, I get it. I get it. Really nice. It's very nice. Nox just looks down at his. What does he have? His pulse rifle. I mean, it's. <laughs> it's not bad technically weapon. bad. You've just been rolling no. like shit. I don't know yeah, if you're it, letting the gun down or if the gun is letting you down at this point. I mean, uh, yeah, let's let's not point fingers right now because the gun doesn't have fingers to point. Doesn't it? Never mind. No, it, has, it has bullets to point, and that gets dangerous. And gun, gun with hand. Mm. Mm-hmm. Finger guns. <laughs> Uh, you are uh, allowed to enter. It is... I never quite got this description until I once got lost on, like, an industrial terrain. It is a faceless building. It is all s blank slab. Like, nothing your imagination to could grab hold to. Nothing any aesthetic vision might find pleasing. It is the blankest of buildings. Brutalist. Yeah. Let's get nice corners. This is just every everything about this is. Eh. Is it practical? Yes. Do you ever want to look at this for longer than thirty seconds? No. Then again, do people in a penal colony really need the will to live? Also, no. Uh, but the doors will open for you uh, one at a time. No entering as a group. So I need a marching order. And behind Knox, as always. <laughs> behind I Ava. I, I guess I'm taking up the rear again. Okay. As Knox is taking the lead keep again. you downwind of us. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you uh, cycle through the airlock. Uh, Knox entering first, you get into just a deeply depressing building. Um, you, like, right now, you couldn't say how many people are here as inmates, but just a quick head count, assuming that as a merc, you're just doing constant threat assessment. You're seeing at least 30 regular guards. And in addition to the person in the elite armor outside, there's at least one more in here patrolling. And right. um, as far as like the 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 punished go, uh, they're not like it's not like we do now where they're stamping license plate or anything. They're sifting through algae. Uh, they're scrubbing water filters. Everything they do is pretty freaking disgusting work that most people wouldn't want to do. Uh, after you, Avon enters. And then we get AJ entering. And then uh, Mason. As you're in the airlock, uh, some of their biosensors beep. Biological contaminants detected. Please stand by for sterilization. And these massive jets of hot water and foam come bursting out of the walls to get at least the flaky bits off of your suit. You know what? I'll take it. Honestly. Everything shower, part two. Yeah. Definitely everything shower, part two. It doesn't use a lot of water, 
but the foam sort of dries into a, a little crackly shell. Honestly, which smells better than the previous crackly shell. I think Mason is ecstatic. I think that's just like... Honestly, free shower. Literally. Two it's showers like a... in one day? <laughs> wow. Less. This is luxury. Like, she like throws her hair out and it like weird, weirdly like flops, but like still. I mean, it's it's light gravity again or low gravity again, so it doesn't flop. It's just this weird <laughs> half mermaid bullshit. <laughs> the weirdest Pantene cat. commercial. Sure. Please be advised: prolonged exposure to foam might cause skin rashes, cancer, radiation sickness, infertility. You gonna wash wash it off then, or am I just? You, the doors just shh open. Sadly, start like brushing whatever's left off. Beautiful. Uh, I will say, AJ, uh, you were right in front of Mason. As the doors open behind you, you are not hit with the smell of urine and vomit. Mason, you smell better. What happened to you? Like, peel one of the little, like, air freshener stickers off and just wave it. And it's like the power of Pine Sol and just, like, put it back on. <laughs> While trying to like, you know, in uh, inconspicuously brush off the remaining like foam crystals. Mm -hmm. Keep just patting yourself down without looking like you're patting yourself down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you are inside the large building of the penal colony. You wanted to look around. Yes, I think Avon is people watching. Ava, like, everybody else is probably looking at, like, I don't know, important rooms and signage and who looks important. Ava's just like, who are all these little guys? Does anybody look cool and fun? Anybody look like a friend? Presence. You can certainly try. Absolutely. Uh, oh, mid. That's a 10. A 10? A 10. A 10. Can I? Uh, I don't know if I can... Oh yeah, I can use a favor to reroll, right? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think I've got... you used your. I don't think you used all your favors yet. I don't think I've. I think I might have used one favor. But um, yeah. I don't know if your crewmates were burning through favors in an attempt to stay alive, but I think Avon was rolling not not as badly. <laughs> Avon just like doesn't fear death or whatever. Um, Weird how that happens. Guys, I want to find some nineteen. There we go. Nineteen, beautiful. Find me a guy. Uh, <laughs> I will I will use this time to remind you and all other players to keep an eye on your Discord messages. Uh yeah. You notice uh a whole lot of people other than uh, friends is a very broad category for Avon. Uh, any particular type of friend other than um, people who also like spider venom and bones? <laughs> well, if it looks like there's anybody who is already friends, um, or or seems to be, um, you know, that kind of a of a friend, um, a very particular kind of friend, a very a very particular kind of Avon's favorite kind of friend. Uh, oh, those friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you should probably check your Discord messages. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Everything's fine. Everything's fine again right now. Anyone else who wants to do anything particular in this wonderful, wonderful area of this beautiful asteroid? So it's uh, a lot of people kind of going through through algae. Uh, you mentioned the guards and like the one specialist uh, yeah. that was also in here. Um, it feels like Avon's got the people thing covered if if anything i would add to that is do any of them look younger you know penal colony typically caters to people who been here for a while and kind of look aged does anybody look like they haven't been crushed by the weight of a penal colony 
but I will absolutely leave that to, to Avon's role. Um, what I am trying to look at is what does overall security look like? So they have guards. How many? What's, you know, the rotation like? Um, is, is there any type of, like, automated security? Uh, yeah, roll presence for that as well. Yeah. Looking like if they are wearing manacles, anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 13 for me. 13. Do you want this in private messages or do you want me to just tell you? I, I leave that to you if there's anything that is excessively interesting about it. Um, we'll give but you, if so it's the, just kind of... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll make it a little mix. Uh, general note, like I said... Uh, everything here seems set up to have a max of 30 guards. Um, you do see the the one special guy from outside come in after decon, uh, and the other elite guard. Uh, the one that was already inside is talking on the radio to someone, and it's not the elite guard behind you that just came in, so there has to be more than these two. Um, and the rest will be in an private cool. message. Thank you. Uh, AJ and or Mason. Is there anything that AJ's looking for things that would seem out of place in a penal colony? Uh, yeah, that's also a presence rule. Uh, I rolled a six. I'm going to spend a favor to re-roll it. Therefore. Uh, and I rolled a 10, so uh, I don't think uh, I know it. Notice it. On a 10, uh, I will give you that the guards seem. So they're obviously interested in the fact that you showed up, right? It's weird. A lot of the prisoners are all glancing your way. But not in a... For for about half of them, it isn't, oh, this is interesting, there's finally something that isn't just algae and disgusting filters and the, the bone-grinding future ahead of us kind of excitement. There's also a few people that are nervous that you're here. Both guards and inmates. Mason! Anything that strikes your particular fancy. Uh, I would like to try and get a sense of any electrical security measures, uh, cameras, automated defenses, how the cells are wired, uh, doors, locks, that kind of thing. It's also a presence roll for you. Gee, that is a nine. Uh, before you say anything... I... Don't worry, I'm drinking beer. You have time. Okay. In my defense, it's it's eight fifteen where I live. PM. Uh, I am not gonna spend a favor on that. I only have two left. Okay. So in nine. general, it looks pretty ramshackle, honestly. Uh, which, considering the asteroid belt they're part of, kind of makes sense. You get a, a little. Uh, even if they escape the building, where are they gonna go? Uh, and everyone else has uh, little messages that they may or may not want to expand on, ask questions about, or act on. Yeah, I think Avon has sort of slowly uh, diverted from the marching order a little bit. Just sort of like no. has, has walked off to the side. Um, okay. something, has, something has caught her attention. All right. Avon's on the move. The guards uh, and prisoners who are nervous, can I tell if they have any, like, contraband, like, communica or communication devices they're not supposed to have or anything? You want to, like, grab a little pad and do a little scan with your technomaniacness, which is yeah. definitely... All right. Uh, I believe technomaniacs also just roll presents for these things. Uh, 
Rolled an eight. Okay. Uh, and do you have anything from your class that could boost it or give you a free roll or no you to no you only have a silencer. Yeah. No you want the you want the opposite of silence. You want chatter. Yeah this also isn't the time for your electronics. <laughs> no you are uh uh let me rephrase that. How does Fred distract you from what you're trying to do? I think Fred is complaining about the ramshackle electronics in this area. Like he's like complaining about something they're giving off, saying they're giving off a weird energy flux or something. And it's, it's distracting AJ. Fred is just telling you the vibes are off. Yeah. Dude, dude, the vibes are not cool here. There's this annoying buzz again. Also, you didn't do anything to keep your scalp damp. And Fred is letting you know that this is an issue. Capital letters. You're supposed to be keeping that, that little section. It's supposed to be either damp or wet, regardless of how much water Mason wastes. Uh, Nox. I think he's seen everything that he was going to see, at least in this area. Um, he does know that Avon is going to do her own thing, which I mean, the last time that happened, it was pretty successful. So he's not going to stop her or anything. He is trying to keep an eye to see if the guards have noticed that Avon is breaking off a little bit. Uh, but he is otherwise just sunglasses on, trying to keep his cool. And uh, yeah, just trying to keep track of, of the people that are moving about. Uh, for as far as have the guards noticed this, yes, Avon is heading for a guard. Like, I can say at least one of them has noticed. At least what? one of them has noticed Avon on a collision course. He's gonna see how this plays out. What could possibly go wrong? I, everything's fine. I think the only thing that could possibly go wrong is that as Avon's walking over, she sort of like she has we've established she has her like little sharpened bones sort of on a little a little readily accessible chain, uh, so that they're not like you know poking through back suits and things like that. Um, so I think she sort of reaches up to fiddle with a necklace, and there's like a second where it's like, is she reaching for a knife? Like, is she reaching for a bone? What's happening? Um, but there's a secret second necklace uh, that is under her shirt, and that's the one that she's fiddling with. Um, so up to you if any of the guards are like about that um but i mean yeah, she's in, sort of... in this system dms aren't technically meant to roll dice so i'm gonna ask sophia to roll a d20 for me and we'll see what the guards notice <laughs> roll the knife Ready. They seem to be blissfully unaware of whatever it is you're touching. Everything's fine. Everything's normal. Um, yeah, I think I don't think Avon is like necessarily saying anything, but I do think she she just sort of like walks up to this one guard in particular, uh, and just sort of like you know that classic Avon half vacant smile, just sort of fiddling with this this necklace, and just sort of like head tilted, and like watching them as it looks like they're also doing the same thing. As you're approaching, they will drop the necklace and uh, put their hands on the gun where it belongs. Are there many friends here? Depends on what you call friends, sister. Mm. I think anyone could be a friend. But I'm curious who already is. A 
like to make our friends easy to recognize. You sort of brush off a shoulder patch. Mm. I think I think she sort of nods and then like looks like she might be turning away and then pauses. Have they arrived yet? Why, who else's bidding would we do? Mm. Just, sort of, just, just sort of does that like disconcerting little hum. And then uh, nods. It doesn't change the person you're talking with at all. Excellent. Delightful. This has never happened before. <laughs> Are your companions mm. also among us? Mm. Give it time. In time, all will join. Mm. We are looking for two friends in particular. Do you know if they are friends of ours as of yet? Sadly, over the last months, we've only lost friends, not mm. gained any friends. They will return. I'll do. And if not, we will simply find more friends. There are always friends to make. There are always friends to make. Indeed, little sister. Uh, have there been many mm, not yet made friends coming to this place? We are looking for two in particular, but I believe there are more. Small ones. Young friends. What is young or old? In the end, seems hardly relevant. We have, um, we have received the agreed upon number of people to become new friends. But no one particularly young, lately. Mm. Who is doing the agreeing? Absolutely everyone. Sadly, however, we have lost two of our own and one of our guards recently. So we are, we have requested an amendment, but they were not willing to conform. They stand by the original. Agreement. For now. Oh, for now. But it's a mm -hmm. uh, pardon the. Uh, the wordplay. An agreeable agreement. We must do what they want us to do so they may spread. After all. Is there any way that I might be of service to your cause? Then do we have our agreement as you fulfill whatever obligation you have to the mayor? If we can find who we're looking for quickly, I imagine we would not be much longer in your hair. It would be most agreeable. Your companions seem a suspicious lot. And they do not need to know what we are doing. They will know when they are ready. They will know about them when they are ready. They still do not need to know what we are doing here. They are not ready for such knowledge, little sister. They will fight. You must wait. You must be patient. I will be patient, time. but you must have faith. All will be friends in the end. All will be friends in the end. Long may they reign. Long may they reign. 
If you have any information or see anything about the, the young ones, do let me know. I will. If you find out where our missing guards went, do inform us. They were carrying precious friends. Oh, Avon looks actually very sad at that. Agreed. It was a loss. But we shall replenish, as always. If I... If I... Just sort of a nod, and they will... Avon will sort of turn back. Uh, before they turn back, the necklace is, is tucked back into the shirt. Um, oh, same for the guard. Everything. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, everything's solved. hidden again, please. Everything's chill. Blood. Everything's fine and normal uh-huh. and regular. We're just little guys. So there's, no, there's no weird people here. Uh, I'm about yeah. it. Uh, yeah. 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 Let me no, just take a break and like we'll really sit with this for a second. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Good time for a break. Everything's fine. Everything's mm-hmm. wonderful. Mm-hmm. Absolutely no uh, worms here. Uh, well, oh, worms? Who said worms? I don't know. That's oh. Did I say worms? Uh, no <laughs> teenagers here. Uh, we'll be back in five to ten minutes. with Without any worms whatsoever. Not even a single worm. None of them, especially not on necklaces. Hello and welcome back to Vizen Cat People Edition. Uh, many people have cats on their laps for various reasons. Uh, so if you hear any weird noises, definitely the cats, not us, not worms. Uh, we meet back up with our intrepid crew of the Wanda or whatever hip nickname you want to give their fascinating little ship uh, in the middle of a penal colony um, where everything is perfectly normal and fine and there's penal people. Uh, I'm just going to keep saying it work because now I know there's a counter. Uh, and Avon just had a lovely chat. Did I say Vizen? I meant Fast Grim. I'm sorry, we just mentioned F- Vizen in the break. Fast Grim. Space Horror, not Nordic Horror. Um, Nordic Space Horror win. I mean, we are in the north part of the verse, so it's a very roomy definition of Nordic. <laughs> uh, but Avon just had a lovely little chat with a guard while Mox and AJ and Mason stood a distance away and uh, watched it happen because so far letting Avon do her thing hasn't resulted in disaster. And uh, everyone figured this is fine. We'll we'll wait here and see what happens. How I, I, I want to look at the guard that she just yes. spoke to. Uh, uh-huh. How how do they look? How are they handling dealing with with Avon? Not as freaked out as normal people are when dealing with Avon. Yeah, that's disturbing. They Nobody seem to be is... vibing. They seem to be vibing with Avon. That is terrifying. We're just friends. We're just we're just bone girlies doing what bone girlies do. I mean, uh... you've been vibing with Avon before, so you're disturbing. Yeah, but Make like that, what you will. You can all but... vibe with Avon. <laughs> but I'm me, and that's a guard. Where we we mean Avon the character, not the weird uh, uh, skin cream MLM. We're not Avon ladies. I'm just putting it out there. I, I I don't know whether or not Mason like is going to treat this either as like suspicious or like jealousy. I I like that's, don't know because like nobody is, else has got along with Avon in that spicy. way before. Valid point. It's a very valid point. Uh, but Avon is uh, sauntering back to the group. Did you know that particular individual? Do you have it in? Of sort. They have not seen the children, though. The the missing ones. Yes, but they will let us know if they do. Right then. That's, I mean, better than I expected. Uh, all right. Uh, shall we continue the tour, then? Yes. As we go, Mason just gives the guard one of these. 
Uh, the guard gives you that same weird spacey stare Avon has given you at times when she thought you weren't looking. Okay. Just keep twirling my bone. So is there a, a, a next part of this section or is this just like a the main part of the facility that we are currently main in? Main part of the facility. You can go like left, right or circle. Um, you can go towards where the individual cells are. You can go towards like the administrative area. You can talk to people here, uh, whatever you want to do really. It's very, this asteroid, despite the fact that they didn't want you here originally, now that you're here, it's a, it's a little sandboxy. Hmm. Think uh, the prison map in Phasmophobia, but with higher ceilings. Well, personally, I would be interested in speaking to some prisoners as well as some of the administration. Uh, Avon, you apparently have, weirdly enough, a friend. Do you have anywhere yes. that you might suggest we start? I do think we should look into where the guards are when they are not here. They have been... Hmm. Our evidence says that more people are coming here, but they have said that they are losing people? I'm curious where they're going, if not here. Losing one of the inside the facility, or are being shipped off-world, or...? Mm, indisposed. Huh. They said they have lost at least one guard. So I'm curious to see what the guard facilities look like. If anyone else has seen anything. Are there barracks or like living quarters? Living quarters. It's okay. a little nicer than barracks. Like it's bad enough that you have to live here. I would also not be opposed to seeing like the actual prisoners' quarters. I don't know as much. They're a about little them. more miserable. Okay, they're a lot more miserable. Uh, we'll start at the. Uh, Guard quarters. Living Guard quarters. quarters uh, you see, they do sleep more than one person a room, right? So even sure. aboard the one that you'd have more privacy. Uh, in general, there's four beds to a bunk room, and they have regular cabins and cabinets and chests to store stuff in. Um, uh, like, oh, start opening things or pulling things or, or talking to people, or if you're doing the whole we're not touching, we're only looking thing, it will make a difference to what you find and how people respond. Are we being surveilled as we're... Yes, there are, there's always uh, a, a contingency of, like, regular guards and at least one of those elite ones. Regular not guards always? Two at least. Okay. Um, like not they're 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 doing their absolute best not to be obtrusive, but they're not good enough not to be obtrusive. If you need to look at something, we can just ask. Well, I can ask. I look at these guards that that are like following us. Are they being weird? I mean, A, roll presence, and B, give me the type of weird you're looking for. That that same like vacant weird that is like okay. very on brand for Avon and that guard outside did. Yeah, uh, roll presence. 21. It's my second 18 of the day. It's like gonna be one of those days I'm thinking. They are 
not as vacant, but you spend enough time with Nox to know that they're not fighty people, basically. They're not like, they're not holding their guns the way you, you hold your guns if you know real well how to use them. The guards seem... be posing somehow the regular guards the elite one absolutely knows how to handle whatever it is they're holding but the the ones that are dressed like the one that avon talked to they don't seem to be very guardy like they're not paying attention to the things they should be paying attention mm -hmm. to yeah if we want to look, I guess you can ask them, huh? They're very amicable. AJ? Anything you're getting up to in these guard quarters? I think AJ is worried about Avon, but other than that, she is just kind of she. She just wants to look for things that are seem out of place. Still, right? Like she's not sure what's supposed to be here, but she's just kind of like mm -hmm. looking for what seems out of place. Uh, roll a presence test. I rolled an eight. An eight. I mean, Avon's being very Avon, and Fred is very angry that your scalp is dry, and it's very difficult to focus on anything else. And also, every time Mason walks by, she was all like, that's oh, the pine salt, but currently she smells like ozone and something more toxic. And it's just a lot. It's like an assault on the senses, and you have a very hard time paying attention to what you're actually looking for. You do notice like this bright green streak of what used to be foam on the back of Mason's fact suit. Is there any water in here? Uh, there's sinks. You could turn a tap on if you want. I think uh, AJ is going to do that. AJ is going to try to make her scalp dead. All right, so you're taking off the helmet and like wetting your hair. Yes. Uh, one of the guards, as you're doing this, one of the guards will walk up to you and go, Is the moisture level not to your liking? Sorry, my scalp was damp needed to, or drive, needed to fix that. I see. Any particular part of your scalp? Or just your scalp in general? There is a particular spot. Is there a reason that you are asking? Just making sure you are comfortable while you're visiting here. Discomfort is, after all, only for our inmates. Thank you, but I'm fine. I've fixed the problem. If there's anything else we can assist you with, please let us know. Will do. And then Adriel will put her helmet back on. Uh, Art's going to be going to stand there. I'm gently going to elbow Avon. Yes. Be like, go ahead. Work your magic. See if they'll let us uh, root around. Um, 
I think Avon, Avon has sort of been like waiting for like Nox to like look at something like he wants to touch it and then ask the guard to move it, you know, sort of situation. Cause like, we're not supposed to touch anything, but if y'all touch it and we look around, then we have not broken any rules. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I think if, that's, if, if that's the case, he's pulling drawers, he's flipping beds, he's looking mm-hmm. for just anything. He's going to, I mean, just ransack yeah. if, uh, if he can. If, uh, yeah, if Mason like nudges Avon to go, go on, ask, while Mox is tearing a room apart, uh, the guard that talked to AJ will sort of come over and go, is there anything in particular you're, you're looking for at this point? Because um, one of those beds is mine and I just made it this morning. Hmm. He'll put it back. Just sort of looks at Nox. You'll put it back, right? It's back. I did. I didn't take the bed. Just, he just, is pocketing like small things that he like. If he finds a couple of rounds of ammunition, he's gonna pocket those. He's finding like extra credits sitting around. He's just. He's just. <laughs> He's got the pockets on the front for a reason. Yeah, yeah. very it's, little ammunition. Uh, I mean, you can put like five credits back on your character sheet, just like pocketing their spare change or whatever. Uh, if, you want, if you want a uh, uh, apple pear flavored vape, you can pocket that if you want it. Ugh. Oh um, yeah, no, the the most chemical apple pear vape, the kind that sort of smells orange, even though you want it to be green, kind of vape. Yeah, what. You can grab like, one Nox has a low presence. I, I can't emphasize that enough, but that is the most suspicious thing because no human. <laughs> I, think, I do think um, if if Nox is genuinely like ransacking and like uh, like taking little things, I think he he gets that like like very subtle switch that he may have not noticed the first time because it was kind of happening away from him of like like sort of ditzy Avon to like calmly intimidating Avon. You will put it back. I I absolutely will. Um, mm. Yes, that's. I think the last time you saw that was when he l- l- met Avon, picking Avon up from a worm infested planet, and Avon's like, "You will take me off this planet." He's like, "I don't want to die today." Sure. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's not it's not forceful. It is simply a stating of fact. You will do this. Um, there is there is no or else. There is no. There's no just, Jedi mind trick. There's no one no, mind trick. It's there just, is no threat. There does not need yeah. to be. Just you will do Same this. Um, the, and, uh, the guard that Avon was talking to goes, oh, that's right. If you're interested in the uh, effects of the guards that went missing, they're further down the hall. Assuming Why that didn't Avon say so in the first place? this knowledge with her party members. If you want Avon the effect of the cards that went missing. Of Good. course. Thank you, brother. And she does address all of the normal guards as brother or sister or something of that effect. Mm-hmm. Uh, would you mind the showing blind, us? The blind eye that I'm turning to this character. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it's a fine. regular she, bone girl. just a little damaged. Just keep looking at that present score going, no, he wouldn't he wouldn't pick that up. Uh, he's got one AirPod in, he's got yeah, just Oh my god, yeah, it's got AirPods and he can't hear us. <laughs> Look, they'll make me come back there and turn the Wanda around. Uh the guard will take you uh a, a two, basically two bunk rooms down, um, and gesture to like one of the lower bunks of them. This is where one of them was sleeping before they disappeared. The other one's across the hall. And they disappeared in their rooms? While not on duty, but not from within the facility that we were able to tell. Good. Where do you... Where are you allowed to go outside of the facility? Just within the shield. Um... Mm -hmm. But we like to occasionally get away from the inmates. You know, gamble a little, play some cards. Is there a, a place that you can go to do that? A few outside of the shield. We have we have a few little ramshackle tables set up. 
uh, out of character if you've ever like gone to the back of a restaurant where like the cooks and the line cooks have those shitty crates turned upside down where they're playing games mm -hmm. while they're supposed to be yeah. on break exactly that kind of area but then around this penitentiary <laughs> i think avon still kind of got that like like vaguely serious like but also like i'm not gonna get my own hands dirty just sort of like not not at Knox, like like go on have fun do you <laughs> do your worst etc um to the to the bunk um because that seems fun for him um and beneficial to all of us um but also like, like giving your dog permission to sh to shred a cardboard box so he oh, doesn't yeah. do your shoe no this one's for you yeah go. oh yeah like he he has <laughs> a, a tactical knife that he is going to like tear the bed Oh, delightful. Excellent. Perfect. Uh, I, I know what your score is, but sometimes the dice appreciate what you're trying to do. So you can roll presents. Okay. That's a seven. You get really into flipping bungs and shredding. You forget you're looking for stuff. And you're oh, yeah. kind of treating... Yeah, he's just like breathing heavily at the end of it, just surrounded by stuffing. Yeah. Yep. He just turns around and Avon's just looking expectantly. Oh, you're all still here. Do you need something? Did you find anything? Nope. Nothing here. Mm. No, not a single... Just looks around. Just everything's covered in, like, mattress stuffing. Not a single clue to be found. This memory form remembers them. Yep. All right. While Nox is shredding this room and Avon is keeping an eye on this, are Mason and AJ up to anything? I think AJ would go check the other room before Nox destroys it. And doesn't flip over anything or anything but would search around and see if there's anything okay uh presents please another eight another eight oh, that's going so well for you uh mason are you are you are you joining aj or Mason is having like an internal, just sort of like split brain going on here. Because mm -hmm. everything is just like a little too suspicious for her that she's like kind of losing the main thread. Um, mm -hmm. It's hard to stay focused sometimes. She's going to go to one of the guards and sort of like, do you have a surveillance system that you keep here? Uh, we have uh, internal cameras on all areas that houses the inmates. However, mm -hmm. our quarters, obviously, are not monitored. Sure, of course. And any of the entrances and exits that these guards could have gone through? Uh, again, the ones that also serve as inmates. For them, it's only an entrance, of course. Of course. And you wouldn't take any of those to get out to any of these little shacks you have oh no that's way too far to walk they'll gesture to like an like a fire escape near you because I, I always just take this one hmm. um do you think we could have a look through maybe we've been told by the mayor to offer assistance so by all means uh, AJ, on an 8, you find very little of interest in these rooms. Mason, are you taking the fire exit? I'm um, calling it a fire exit. It's an unmarked door in the wall. You get the feeling if this place ever caught fire, there would be no point in exiting yeah. anything because you would die within the shield anyway. Uh, 
just I'm not gonna go fire in space in general bad yeah i'm not gonna go without anyone else uh and bad. if the surveillance systems aren't gonna give us visual of what we want then i will still go back to there's just like maybe we want to check on the places where the disappearance has happened and then see that's it you walk back into the room just as Nox turns around with just feathers floating around him. And I just like blow them just to the side. <laughs> Feather lands on Avon's head, unblinking. <laughs> <laughs> These are the vibes. Like I said, nothing to find here. Did any of you find anything? In, uh, no. There's a limited surveillance system on the prisoners, nothing that would have caught the guards, and all the little locations that they have outside in shield space, that would be where these disappearances and assumably occurred. Mm -hmm. Uh, for certain, they have very little automated anything. It doesn't seem like they keep very good track of anyone. Uh, this place is administered like uh, the. I haven't. I don't have a comparison right now. I'll have one in a minute. Um, let's see. Uh, it's administered like a Porta John at an outdoor concert. Let's go with that. And um, shittily. And uh, these uh, individuals don't even seem to even know what they're doing. No offense, to you, It's He's going to point at the, the guards that have been coming along with them. Taken. They genuinely don't care. Even if they escape the facility, they kind of escape the asteroid. Why not? Because you need a vessel to escape the asteroid, and we log all incoming and outgoing vessels. Sure, but if we've learned anything recently, is that the, the logs for vessels are not looked at in depth at all. People are smuggling this and that and calling it algae back and forth, so... We keep the records, but no one has ever requested our records. I am requesting your records. Please follow me to the administrative building. Weirdly roundabout, but it works. If it, if it works, it works, you know? Uh, I think as they're walking, uh, normally Avon is sort of like tailing Nox, and I think currently Avon is tailing this guard. Um, sort of instead. <laughs> um... <laughs> Thanks for mere Mother Goose vibes on this marching order. <laughs> yeah. It's uncomfortable for Knox because he's not used to walking behind people, so he's trying not to flat tire Avon the entire time. Yeah, not used to seeing the back of Avon ever. Um, what does I, the back of Avon look like? Uh, well, we're in vac suits, aren't we? Yes. So very much like that. Uh, unfortunately. That's... that's uh, so there's others to see. How does Avon walk? Is it like, is it flowy or is it like way too stiff? Um, because I get kind of like a midsummer vibe from <laughs> Avon, and I wonder. So if here's it's the thing: I haven't <laughs> seen Midsummer. Um, okay. Um, no, I think I think typically, I mean, typically she's she's on her little on her little floaty guy, so it is, oh, it is sure, very sure. floaty. Um, I don't know. This is once again uh, low enough gravity that if you're on. The you'd be on the ceiling again. So you're either walking or yeah. No, I'm not on the I'm not on the hover guy right now. Um, because they said they said we couldn't bring fun toys in. I didn't want to get my fun toy taken away. Um, <laughs> still kind of float like a like a poltergeist, you know. Just just a, there's almost a hovering to the way that she walks. Yeah, like I think it's yeah. it's low gravity enough that it's kind of like that vague, like slow, bouncy walk, right? Mm -hmm. Um. But I think on the very rare occasion that she gets so very serious, she is standing like military straight. And it's like, just like a very subtle, like posture change. And then it's back and then we're just vibing. We're hanging and chilling and everything's fine. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. 
<laughs> mm-hmm. Not concerned. Don't worry about a little it. Concern. Uh, but Avon will sort of just like you know the classic Avon head tilt, just like peeking around towards the guard that is sort of follow uh, leading them to the like administration, I guess, or whatever. Um, and and just ask, would you also be able to show us where you make friends? I mean, play games outside. Those are different areas, but we can show you where we play games outside. I would like to see both. I'm afraid the first is currently out of commission. There is, there is, and I think Knox, looking at, like, paying attention now, would see that sort of, like, straighten up a little bit. I would like to see both. I understand, little sister, but the first area you requested is currently not in use, and therefore repurposed. I don't intend to use it. But currently repurposed. So where are you making friends now? At the moment, we are waiting. Mm. We'll make friends soon. Mm. I would hate to miss it. Understandable, but certain measures must be taken to la- secure lasting friendships. We have recently lost one of our guards, and we will need more. And if you can be given more, would that reopen? Would help, certainly. Mm. Sort of falls back a little bit, and the flu and the 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 the, the floatiness returns. How audible was that conversation? Like pretty quiet, like fairly quiet. Freaking quiet. Like you could tell that they were talking, probably, but I don't know that you'd be able. To, like I think the the I, intent was you can tell that tell, she's talking, but you can't tell what she's I saying. I will. I will tell you now. Uh, you, if you want to see if Mason would have caught any of it, you can roll a presence test. I will Dear. also tell you that the uh, uh, the DR is over twenty. Okay. So make it and pray. Fuck! It's a nineteen total. It was. We needed a twenty-two or higher. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping you got it. <laughs> like. She's, she's just kind of like staring at you, like like at the back of your head, and is like. Mm-hmm. She's walking like, maybe a little less like. Uh, light creepy and maybe a little like heavier creepy. Right <laughs> Uh, Nox, you're, you're guided to uh, the administrative office, which looks like they clean out a closet and they put a bunch of ordners there and um, most of it is like on data pads. Was there anything in particular you wanted to know? Again, uh, we, no one ever asked. We just log it and leave it and then we assume if people want it, they check it not our business we just need to make sure the inmates stay here oh. uh boy i just i have that meme going through my head of boy that's a lot of words too bad i never fucking learned how to read um look you have the I, smart people where they need to be to do the smart people thing uh, fantastic this is aj aj knows more about End of sentence. Uh, why don't uh, you look for uh, recent logs of ships leaving? And I'm, I don't care. Right. He's just gonna walk off. <laughs> AJ will will do that. We'll pull up the logs and go over the most recent ships coming and going. The DM is muted for dog barking purposes, but please roll a presence test.
That is a two. I'm going to spend another favor and reroll. Please start finding clues, I beg you. 19, finally. 19, very nice. Uh, I will summarize your findings for you. Um, so the other asteroids supply this place with algae, water, and ore. For uh, what you can find, no particular reason, and in quantities slightly greater than what you would expect for a shoddily run penal colony. Like, they receive more than they need to keep the inmate population alive. In addition to that, over the past nine months, there are three... I'm going to put this. There are three times that a vessel has landed and taken off without delivering goods or passengers or taking goods and passengers. And that vessel is marked without a call sign or a name. It is simply registered as landed and departed. Interesting. Uh, AJ will look at everybody and and make sure to say like they are receiving a large amount of supplies, far larger than you would expect. Like food, water, well, the normal type of supplies, or? Food, water, or, but in larger amounts than you would expect for just a penal colony. Mm, um, Avon, with your new friends here and all, would you? see if perhaps they tell you if there's a secret part to this facility at all, perhaps uh, prisoners uh, uh, an isolation area, you know um, pr prisoners that are put in a, a separate cell block anything like that uh, other people that we haven't seen yet You're muted. muted. Okay. Ah, dang it. Well, uh, I think <laughs> Avon just sort of like turns and goes, hmm. hmm. And then sort of turns around uh, to go find the go find the guard uh, if they're still here or, you know, hanging outside. They're, the, they're, they're in the hallway. Nearby. Yeah, they'll, they'll head out to the, the hallway. Um, nice little sister. Hmm. Is there any sort of other facilities for the prisoners, not the friends. We have one population of prisoners. Mm. Is there anywhere else that resources would be diverted that is still open and operational? There are areas for our use where we make sure we have everything we need to usher in the reign of fame. Mm. As per our agreement with everyone in the Astrid Bell. Is any of that still currently operational? We're just not making any new friends right now, but mm. we still need to be, we still need to be ready. We need to prepare. Of course. And again, the deal with the asteroid belt stands, so they need to continue delivering. Understood. If that area is still accessible, 
would I be able to see? You, perhaps. I don't believe your crewmates are ready. Hmm. Also, you will not find the two you are looking for. We would have shown them to you if we had them. But again, we've lost three of our own. If you could find out where our losses went, we'd be grateful as well. We need more, not less. They are on my list of those to find. And if we were to find... If you were to help us find any information on those that we are looking for, I can only imagine that my crew would be amicable to helping find yours as well. I understand completely. However, we don't know where ours went, which stands to reason that we don't know where yours went. I imagine they could have gone to completely separate places. Or they might have been fallen victim to the same scheme. Predator? The other guards are not like us. Correct? Esteemed guards are everything I dream to be one day. And where do they go? Oh, they don't go anywhere. They already are. They have nothing left to dream of. Your guards that have gone missing, are they like us or like them? You are like us and one was of them. Oh. Hmm. Understood. I will keep an eye on my crew to see if they might be understanding to investigating those areas. Wonderful. I would not bring Wait, them oh. if I didn't think that we could handle them. It was exciting to see more people brought into the fold. Agreed. She'll just sort of like wordlessly turn around back into the into the the room. Back to your friends? Mm -hmm. Back to my other friends. Other friends. More friends. There is just the one population. Well, then I am worried that we have hit another wall here. Have we found Mm -hmm. if they say that they have people missing here and apparently there's nowhere else that any could apparently be it makes me think uh, that there's somewhere else sorry just, go ahead just as your dm i don't know if aj is keeping information on purpose or sophia forgot to mention it I may have, which information I may have forgotten to. Uh, the vessel that was here mm -hmm. three times exactly over the last nine months with uh, unregistered plates. Uh, the exact amount of times to people that went missing. There was a v vessel that unregistered vessel that was here three times in the last nine months. Unregistered, so no plates. Um, make, model, anything like that? Anything to track it? Need to clear what it was bringing? You're right, of course. Uh, I will uh, supply the information that AJ uh, would have read on that impressive re-roll. Um, so it didn't bring any people necessarily uh but it did at one point uh collect a vat of algae um it is a cruiser type vessel fairly small uh kind of gross hang on 
let me see. Because I have a picture for this, but I don't know how much of it is marked and how much I don't want you to see. We can do this. Uh, it's it's this type of cruiser. Uh, you can see it in roll right now, hopefully. Ooh. That is the cruiser that was here three times. Is it comparable in size to like our vessel that is like for transporting people? Smaller, Smaller than yours. Okay. Smaller. Yeah, it, this is like a one person cruiser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one person and some contraband is what you're thinking. It's a, it's the, yeah, it's long as a particular type of cruiser, but without coal sign or plates. The arrivals, have they been on a schedule or at random? Uh, they seem to be pretty random. They're, they're random. I think I would like to see the storage area. Our storage area? Yes. Uh, certainly. Uh, they will start walking down a hallway with you and then have to go, wait, which storage area? We have several. What are you? Which one do you keep your main supplies in? Or the supplies that come off of the ships? Right. Overslag. Uh, yes, right this way. And they will take you to a, uh, storage area that is, like, right off of what we've lovingly called the parking lot so far. Uh... Big double doors. Uh, it's got some vats of algae, some vats of water, a uh, fair amount of ore, weirdly enough. Do we have a good idea of what they use ore for here? Like, just as like people who exist in the world, or is that like interesting? Uh, as people who exist in this universe, you need ore for repairs. Again, you're in space, radiation, the vacuum, the cold, everything erodes and degrades and gets fucked up. You need carbon for all of your filters. Uh, so it makes sense that they would have ore. They do seem to have a lot of it. Like, you're used, it's ever since you got picked up by Nox, but even before you got picked up by Nox, your old colony, you're used to levels of scraping by. Uh, this penal colony seems to have an abundance. We're not talking space billionaires, but they're more comfortable than most colonies you've seen in your life. More comfortable than my own colony? Yes. Huh. Hmm. Side eye. <laughs> Can I search the like the containers and stuff, see if there's hidden compartments or like a, a layer of ore with contraband underneath? Uh liberal presence. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, somewhere near the back wall you find a container that looks different than their other containers. And that it, it doesn't have like a double wall, but it has a weird locking mechanism that none of the other containers have. Um, in the sense that you wouldn't be able to open it if you were inside of it. Can I hack or do anything to open this lock? Yeah, you, you can open it now. It's it's It looks very much abandoned and neglected and very... You know that Tupperware container that someone left at your house that doesn't match any of your stuff? It isn't with their regular containers. This is very much a someone left this here. It isn't ours. We don't want it. It's somewhere off in a corner. Okay. Size is it? I say person size. Does it help? Okay. No, it's fine. Cool. Informationally. Just order. Informationally helps. Emotionally, exactly, like, you know, I, I wouldn't call it a clue, but yeah, I would fit about a person. 
you know, a, a, either a lot of algae or a single person. That, that, or maybe two people if you like hold them a little and you don't mind parts breaking in transit. Then two or three if you're if you're willing to accept the crunch, you know. It is so. It is out of place here, even if it looks neglected. Is it? Is there like? It doesn't have the right markings. It doesn't have the right stripes. It doesn't have the little QR code. It is. If I open it up, are there any clues inside of it? It looks pretty clean. Question mark. How good are you at biology? This is weird and out of place, but I'm not sure what it means. Uh? Avon will pop up behind AJ menacingly. Um, <laughs> just look, look around, around uh, their shoulder into this crate. I don't know that I would know anything I, about it, but I'm intrigued. Less, less crate and more that. Let's use the word <gasps> vat. That. Excellent. Hey, let's, let's call it a vat. That seems right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just you just, just taking a peek at this this little vat, see if anything yeah. seems familiar. Mm -hmm. See if I've see if I've ever seen or hauled or been in or etc. Something of the oh, sort. Well, yeah, real presence. Okay, all right, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely. It's cool. We're good. We're fine. Is a, is a sixteen all told? I mean, you haven't been in one of these before. You haven't seen people in these before. Uh, but as a, like, we've been calling you bone girlies. Yeah. Uh, but bones are surrounded by soft tissue. And you certainly get the feeling that bones contained in soft tissue might have been in this vat at one point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a little squish just like under the rim. Yeah. So we know how they've been getting in. Come in here. And they've Ooh. also been going missing from here. Well, yes. We do not know how they've been leaving. We know how they've been getting here. And Avon will sort of just, like, step into it and sit down. And Avon is, Avon is a very small person, so I imagine she fits. Um, yeah, you, you fit easily. Yeah, yeah. Just sort of like, eh, 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 eh. Makes sense. Right, so it sounds like then we need to figure out what ship has been doing the picking up or putting down, or both. Uh, this unmarked ship that AJ tracked. Um, Anika will ask you, is the the ship design that we kind of like, we're able to pinpoint, it's unregistered, but we used to have like model. Is that yep. very common? Is it uncommon? Is it something we might have seen recently? being in parking lots that we have? It is pretty uncommon. Okay. Most people want something a little more uh, upgraded, a little rubier, a little less falling apart. Like, if you think the Wanda Bago is shitty, this is a miracle that it's still in space. Uh, this, okay. this type of freighter is known for having... Uh, very particular issues and having to resource certain spare parts regularly just to stay uh, I keep wanting to say in the air but there's no air but uh, to stay traveling 
Uh, you haven't seen it in any of your parking lots. I just checked. Um, but it would be something... You could either be asking around uh, for people like, did you see this particular shitty freighter? Uh, or if one of your uh, more technically inclined crewmates would have a, a moment of uh, shining intellect, that is to say, if they manage to roll above an eight, um they could probably try tracking some of if you're if you're if you're already kind of close because apparently they're in this asteroid belt if they're already kind of close you could try and find their trail uh because this ship tends to have a very shitty fluctuary capacitor and they will be leaving like a space dust trail to put it in non-star trek recalibrate the deflector dish terms perfect uh, just point at AJ and Mason then. Roll above an eight. Perfect. It's sun type. Mason's nose just starts bleeding. Just like... Yeah, that, it's, that's the, literally the, the not what he said. It just translates to like, oh, you know, you're, you're techno is this, bubble. Is Use this the your true north ability? Brain. Is, this the, is this true north? Is this what this is? It, it, mm, it's, pretty, it's pretty close to it, yeah. Okay, I was like trying to figure out some way to like work it in there, but I thought it was a very literal ability, not like I, literally from north, but it's like I, if we're I don't really like lost. super literal abilities in a game full of mind affecting worms. Thirteen. Thirteen. Well, it's it's above an eight. It is above uh, an eight. I also rolled not... a twenty. Nice. See now a twenty. I can That's also with. above an eight. Honestly, so the DR goes in steps and the lowest one is 14. <laughs> so at least we have a sorry Mason, but at least we have AJ. This time. It was Passing time. the brain cell back and forth. It's okay. Yes. Uh Mason's consumed with suspicion right now. Tracking is out of her brain. I will say you're currently uh uh in a containment facility on an asteroid with Avon in a vat. Uh, so Nox just going, roll above an 8, but then the translated equivalent of it. Uh, I want to know what action that translates to that you just roll a 20 on, right? Because everyone just rolled without saying what we're actually doing. Uh, so I'd like a little more narration as to what that 20 is actually... What you're actually doing when you get that 20. Uh, just... Uh... I think AJ tries to just scan for cruiser trails and anything that ship might have left behind using, I assume, whatever computers or pads that are available to her. And okay. I will say that you need to be aboard the Wanda to be able to do this. Okay. I will let the 20 stand for your role aboard the Wanda, but in this warehouse right now, you do not have the range to pick up, because like I said, this is a pretty, you need to be pretty close by to pick up this trail, right? It does, it, it, it dissipates pretty quickly. So from okay. within this warehouse, you don't pick up anything, but if you want to scan again, once you get to the Wanda, we'll use that 20 you just rolled. Uh, but for now, I am interested in seeing what happens between here and what everyone has discovered on this asteroid and when you leave. Because I feel like maybe there's people that want to do stuff before we go, pool, 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 we're back aboard. If I'm wrong, please let me know and we'll just be back aboard. The only other thought I had was to interrogate some of the prisoners but i don't feel like that's as necessary because i feel like we got the information we wanted from the guards i mean i'm not opposed to talking to some of the prisoners because we might be getting a very different story than we would from the guards um <laughs> but that's at y'all's discretion as well um i i, I wanted to also check if the surveillance covered the landing like the parking lot in the landing bay. Ooh. So that at the very least we could see who's coming off of the ship. I like that. Um, 
I actually think we'll start with Mason then, because you're still in the administration area, right? So it makes sense that you pull your uh, uh, video information from here. Uh, asking the guards or using Avon to ask the guards, however you want to play it, you can get a more narrowed down time frame of when these guards went missing. So you don't have to scroll through like 900 hours of footage. They'll 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 help you find it. Weirdly enough, um, and it's very strange. I will say they don't keep everything for very long, but you can find the most recent one, and you see a very shitty cruiser landing, and exiting the cruiser is a man question mark uh he has a vac suit on you're assuming man because of the uh i'm a dude kind of walk like the, the, the walk that men walk when they want you to know they're men yeah i don't have a better word for it but, but the dude walk um it's a certain his, panache yeah <laughs> there's a vibe uh but his left leg drags a little so you get a feeling that maybe he's compensating for the fact that you know, not everything is fully functional. Okay. Um, he has a vac suit on, but his helmet is partly open, and his face is mangled. It is, it is, it is fucked up. Uh, there's scars. The skin is a weird color. Things are sagging. Uh, there's this weird thing near uh, his hairline. Uh, yeah. He doesn't Weird. enter the building. He looks to be going around the side. And he's landing at a time. The guards were complaining about, oh, it's a 48-hour shift. But he is landing at a time when most guards are inside dealing with inmate turnover. The weird thing on his hairline. The weird how. It is an even more pronounced scar than the regular ones on his face. Like fresher or just like more like pronounced or more, more pronounced. pronounced. Okay. Uh, they all the scars look really, really old. Uh, there is a artist rendition of this man in your uh, Discord if you want to have a look at him. Oh dear. Oh, wow. Um, Probably a stunning specimen. Mm -hmm. And I guess as the follow-up to that, when they do the unload, like when they land and do the unloading, like what goes on, what comes off? It's the I assume it's those same weird little barrels that don't match. But it is, how, well, how they, many they match and now. are going on? It is, it is clearly his set of Tupperware. Uh, he unloads them. They're labeled LG, but he seems to be carrying them like... He's carrying them too easily, right? Like, they're labeled like there's something in it, but he's carrying them like they're empty. And then on the way back to his vessel, he's carrying like it's not empty. Okay, so he's taking people off in a way. He's not delivering here. That takes one, that takes one little line out of my brain. Okay. Well, this seems to be our most interesting person. Look familiar to anybody, or...? What uh, is it? He's coming and going from that same unmarked vessel? It is, it's the unmarked vessel. The unregistered vessel. Mm. And no, uh, uh, Derek, this would not look familiar to you at all. I, I noticed the, the I mean, loadout he's kind of carrying. Is that similar to the guards and the, like, super guards that we're seeing the prison now? Kind of his own deal. No, the, the super guards are very, it's very sleek. It's very put together. It's very sure. uniform. And he just looks like he just grabbed whatever he could find and anything that's serviceable stays. It's very scrappy. I respect that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it's, I'm not gonna lie. It's not a bad loadout. 
but it looks very um things he took from people that didn't need them anymore sure unless i picked it up in my size at the commissary it's it's a good look for i'm not presuming he's a mercenary but it's a good look for a mercenary is yeah mercenary. yeah yeah take take what the bullets didn't go through off the person he killed Exactly. Uh, well, it sounds like we will likely be meeting this individual in the near future. Um, let's go ahead and have at least a chat with a couple of the uh, prisoners and see if they saw or anything else. Um, take a quick look at their living quarters and then let's see if we can follow this trail. Yeah. Um, All right. Yvonne will sort of, you know, pester the guard as, as she's always want to do, pester someone. Um, the prisoners that went missing, could we see their rooms or who they roomed with? No prisoners have gone missing. No prisoners? Two guards and one elite guard. Hmm. I think it's because they had to go into the space to get snatched and prisoners aren't allowed into that outside space. It does narrow down the possibility. Understood. Is there anything else, little sister? Mm. Not yet. Will you be leaving, staying? I will. I will be seeing this through with my crew for now. As you see fit. Uh, Does not mean while, I will not return. While Avon is talking to this guard, and um, the rest of you are inside. Uh, AJ, one of the elite guards, will uh, be walking up to you. We were informed there was an issue with your scalp. What is it? It was dry. I fixed it. It is fine now. Are you certain? Yes. Uh, question is, as your DM, are you wearing your helmet? Yes. Please remove your helmet so we may ascertain that this is true. And it will take her helmet off. The elite guard looks at that, that little patch of your scalp that you've been wetting and going. We do not see any signs of movement. Are you certain buttoning your scalp is sufficient for proper growth? Yes. Were you infected? I do not know what you mean. I was afraid of that. Let's make it now, shall we? And that's where we'll end tonight's episode. I hope everyone had a fabulous time in our penal colony. <laughs> And we'll be back next week. Oh, and so it wasn't even me! It wasn't even it wasn't me! Even you. No, you didn't have to be you. Yvonne uh, is innocent! And there'll be some rules next week to see how this goes. Uh, for now, this seems like an excellent time to end it because this isn't something we want to half-ass. Uh, so we'll quickly do our sign-offs. 
and uh, and uh, leave uh, people and players uh, longing for more. Hi, my name is Anik. I DM games here on Sundays, and sometimes I get to play games here on Sundays. And after this, we're gonna have a tiny little tiny little stream break because my brain needs it. But then I'll be back with more horror stuff and maybe something cute that inevitably turns to horror as well. Only gonna be horror. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Nixter if I remember that the cesspool exists. But in general, everything I do is here anyway. So just follow the Sword and Key socials and you'll know it anyway. Uh, we'll go, I think it's just in the same order as we did our, our sign-ons, which is weird because we never call them that, but they are. Uh, so we'll just, we'll just start with Sophia and you can tell people who you are and any cool stuff you have to plug and where they can find you. All right. Hi everyone. I'm Sophia, also known as Nerdy Teddy. You can find me on Twitter at Nerdy Teddy. Uh, you can find some of my stuff on the Girls Run These Worlds YouTube channel. Just wrapped up our Misspent Youth campaign. Uh, and um, I, you can join me on Nerds with Dice. I will be in the chat Tuesday night as uh, the OKSDM OK shows off sagas. As they play, uh, I believe they're calling it the Heist of Station G. I'll be in the chat, so come hang out. Uh, we have a masks campaign with all disabled players starting next Saturday at uh, seven p or eight p.m. E EST. So come hang out there, and all these games are eight p.m. EST. Um, and I will be in the chat for all of them. We have, uh, what's it, 31st is Neon Shadows, and August 4th, you can come hang out for the urban fantasy horror adventure game, Ilfi. Um, all of these games are with the creators of the games, uh, except for Masks, uh, so come check that out. Thank you. Very cool indeed. Uh, I was just saying, I love a good heist. Uh, Dan. Hello, uh, I'm Dan Pixel. I have been Mason Hex, and I uh, appear on a couple of different TTRPG streams. Uh, Friday nights is over at DMDM Studios for uh, Warhammer 40k Death Watch uh, campaign, Darker Stars. That one's a long, ongoing one every Friday night. Saturday nights this month, uh, starting and going into next month, uh, over at Girls Run These Worlds, where we are running Eberron. Uh, for the uh, Fires of Sharn uh, little side quest. Uh, that one, we're about two episodes in. We got about two more to go. That one's really fun. And then I am over on my own channel where I am a Let's Play streamer uh, for games with heavy narrative, sometimes emotional damage, which you can find me on later tonight uh, in about like five or six hours or so. We're finishing up uh, the third Mass Effect. And then anywhere else you want to find me, you can find me on the internet as Dan Pixel, uh, with a whole variety of nonsense, whether it be on TikTok for just general nerd things or over on YouTube for Overwatch League. So find me anywhere. I know we're doing sign-ups, but I have to know. You're saying games with emotional damage. Have you done Spirit Fair yet? I think it's in my library, but it hasn't made it to the top polling yet. Let me see if I have Spirit Fire in there. That game made me cry oh, so God. many times. Part of it was my fault because I played some of it while my dad was dying, and that's just a really, really bad combination. Like, 10 out of 10 do not recommend. But if you're emotionally somewhat stable, Spirit Fire can still make you cry. I'm gonna add it to my list. I am concerned that there is something called the Farewell Edition. That one, oh, yes. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit mm -hmm. Fair is... Um, yeah, I, I started it, I cried, it got very much too close and I put it away for a few months. Mm -hmm. And then I finished it and I cried some more. It's very... It's, 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 yeah, its theme is grief. So if you like emotional damage and you want to hurt, 10 out of 10. Oh, for sure, for sure. And in the meantime, you have to, like, build a boat. So, you know, and, and manage your sheep. Sheep? Because why not? Yes, why not? sheep. Why not sheep? Make it worse makes sense, you know? Uh, sorry, little, little sidebar, because I think more people who need to work through stuff need to play that game. Uh, Derek. 
I will actually let Kit go so I can do uh, Sword and Key stuff. Oh, yeah. the all the Sword and Key so. stuff again? Like the, By all the means, Kit. List. All the fancy stuff. Yeah, the channel stuff. Go on, Kit. Do what you want right. to do. I guess that leaves me. Uh, hi, I'm Kit. Uh, you can find me on the internet places at Kit Roll Cause. Same way it's spelled somewhere around me, probably in chat, I think, also. Um, I play games, I write games, I uh, produce games sometimes now, apparently. Um, I have been your Avon for this evening. Uh, and I will continue to be your Avon next time. It will be great. Um, you can catch me all over the Ding Ding place. Uh, tomorrow, I will be over on uh, Chaotic Goat Productions for, I believe, the finale episode um, of our play test of the Cottages and Cerberus system uh, run by the creator. It is uh, it, the exact opposite vibes of this game. If you want cozy monster hunting, if you want uh, cottage uh, cozifying, uh it's there's a little there's a little bit of trauma but it's like it's we make it cute and fun uh there's a mechanic the core mechanic is based on the spoon theory it is delightful it is awesome uh please check it out if that speaks to you whatsoever um on wednesday we will be back with um a the second table of a two table call of cthulhu campaign shadows between the stacks over on live from the apocalypse they uh played a couple weeks ago the fuck around table and i am part of the find out table set a hundred years in the future um it is delightful it's awesome it's a little bit more spooky uh like this game so if that's your if that's your bag check it out um and then on da -da -da -da, on that saturday i will be over on uh Lost Caravan doing some Fabula Ultima. Uh, Fatal Ascension is our game. Fabula Ultima is the is the is the the system we're using. I am a little robot who has done nothing wrong in its life. Uh, it is delightful. It's a fun little game. There's romance. It got really gay really quick. Uh, so if if that speaks to you whatsoever, um, and then uh, we just released on Thursday, the first episode, the two-part premiere of our Girl by Moonlight podcast, uh, Bloom and Blight. So check that out. Peep the socials literally everywhere at Bloom and Blight. Um, our next episode is set to come out on the third. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we've had a really awesome launch. So get in while it's still new. Um, and I think that's, I think that's me. <laughs> Are you sure? 30, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah, we're good. You yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Uh, Right, Derek, Derek, Derek. Fantastic. Quick, you, uh, it, is, it is fantastic seeing all of these amazing people doing other things. Please go and support them in those spaces. Uh, that is why they are here, is so that we can tell amazing stories and then also see them tell amazing stories in other places as well. The whole point of this group. Um, I am Derek Sword. I am the sword half of Sword and Key. As half of the founding members of Sword and Key, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for joining us today uh, for this uh, sci-fi, spooky, horror, wonderful brainworm thing. Um, a special thank you as always to Anique for running this. Uh, my plugs, if you want to find me personally anywhere, it's still Twitter. It's DSword16. You can find my beacons on there as well. Uh, but I highly recommend you follow Sword and Key. Uh, you can find all of Sword and Key's um, links at beacons.ai slash sword and key, all one word. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. You can join our Discord there as well. Our Discord has lots of great chats going on. Uh, we're actually doing some watch parties coming up here soon. We sometimes do watch parties for older games. Uh, we have, a, I think, a movie night coming up soon. So you can always join that, chat about all of our, our shows, our podcasts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we are a burgeoning podcast network now as well. So if you're looking for a, a podcast daddy, I am more than happy to be your podcast daddy. Um, I also, speaking of being a podcast daddy, I am uh, the co-host of the podcast Monster Crush. If you really like cryptids and monsters and all different things from fiction and folklore and, and everything else, I discuss them with my friend Heavenly. And it is, uh, I, I explore world of cryptids and creatures on a never-ending quest to find love in all the wrong places. It is a bi-weekly, trans-dimensional Pandora's box of monsters. There you go. Um, so check that out where podcasts are found. Uh, for Sword and Key stuff, let's see. We have Horizons Call, which is every Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Horizons Call is our swashbuckling nautical D&D campaign that I GM. And that runs every Saturday. We're getting back to normal episodes. We just did a four-part series of character development episodes. We're getting back to the full cast this coming Saturday. Uh, every other Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Pacific, 5.30 p.m. Eastern is our continuing Britawood Bay campaign, GM'd by the amazing Jen. And that actually features Eva, the other half of Sword and Key, as one of the players. Next session of that is July 30th. 
Uh, the next episode of Monster Crush is going to be delayed a week, so our schedule is actually shifting up a week, but the next release is planned for August 6th. Uh, the four-week mini campaign of Magical Kitty Save the Day, which is GM by Incredible Mare, uh, will start on August 2nd, and that will be 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. That, I believe, is it for for sword and key stuff so like i said check us out hang out on discord hang out in our socials uh and we'll have some casting calls out soon we have more projects that are coming down the line so uh maybe your face will will join ours here pretty soon we'd love to have you um until next time i will i will sign off for myself i will let anik say anything that they want to say as well but uh again thank you from sword and key Already said most of it. I'm just excited about casting calls because, like, my mini stream bake will be used to plot and plan and 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 run more horror stuff. So we'll be we'll be needing people to to run those games with. So keep an eye. I think specifically on the Twitter, uh, or uh, you know, Twitter might be going down. Join the Discord. We have channels for looking for people, looking for group, and uh, find other little. I was gonna say freaks. Find other little special friends to play games with special yes. friends that's what this game's about special friends. Uh, friends friends also friends, friends. <laughs> we will be raiding uh dm dm studios so Ooh. check them out be, be and kind we'll of be back show. next week and we'll find out if aj comes out as a human or not part four finale part check four the finale everything's <laughs> fine and regular hopefully a grand <laughs> finale, but finale we'll see we'll grand find out friend finale no that's nothing i'm sorry Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week for the continued adventures of the Wanda Bago. <laughs>